This is the Peugeot 403 convertible. Probably its most famous owner was Peter Falk, alias Lieutenant Colombo. Colombo's trusty French vehicle made its first on-screen appearance back in 1971. <laughs> The episode was called Death Lends a Hand. Colombo was in his trademark trench coat, complete with cigar and trademark quips. When asked about the exotic looking French car, the detective revealed his own lack of knowledge. A 1950 Peugeot, they're very rare. Rare indeed, except the model was built in 1959. Another thing that stands out is that Colombo almost always drove with the roof closed, despite being in California, the sun-kissed Golden State. Colombo always did seem to be his own man. And his car's unkept appearance was also rather un-Californian. He rarely washed it, and each new episode seemed to see a new dent in its bodywork. The legendary detective seemed happy to allow his car to fall into decline. Different strokes for different folks. Most of today's 403 convertible owners have a different approach. They appreciate what they've got, a real rarity with just 2,000 units built. In total, all versions of the 403 sold 1.2 million units. The exterior styling was the work of experts at Pininfarina, a marriage of Italian class with French elegance. Typical for the pontoon form were the bulge on the hood and the suggestion of fins at the rear with the vertical rear lamps. The roof setup was extremely modern for its time. Just one lever was needed to unlock everything. The soft top disappears behind the rear seats in no time. Then just button down and it's ready for the road. Whether open top or not, this is a slick look and ride, albeit one ideally enjoyed in the front, given the storage of space in the back. Leather seats were standard at the time, and the mid-range convertible was ultimately considered a luxury model. In technical terms, however, it was nothing special and shared the same platform as the 403 sedan and wagon versions. Under the hood, it had a four-cylinder gasoline engine with a side camshaft. The engine had a 1500 cc capacity generating a rather unspectacular 65 horsepower. These stats were in line with Peugeot's aims for the model, a luxurious but certainly not sporty convertible that was also suited to longer journeys. The 403 convertible was unveiled at the 1956 Paris Motor Show. Visitors were bowled away by its elegance. Right next to it was the 403 wagon, a beast of burden for all occasions, and seating up to eight people, extremely practical. Not far away, the rivals over at Citwen were enjoying a lot of attention thanks to exhilarating new designs. The Peugeot 403 never generated the excitement that the Citwen DS or ID did, but its robust character did make it very popular on the domestic market. 
It was featured in Peugeot's range for 10 years. Plus, the diesel engine introduced in 1959 made the car a practical option for use in North Africa. The French convertible is a fascinating classic, not just because of its starring role in Colombo. As only 2,000 units were made in total, the chances of bumping into other 403 convertible owners are practically zero. While regular 403 models are still available today at reasonable prices, the convertibles are in huge demand. Our red protagonist is not available for purchase. It belongs to the Peugeot Museum in Sochaux.